Hey guys, Steve Laff here. How you doing? Saturday morning, March 8th. Uh, it's probably about 32 degrees out this morning. It's probably about 11.30 in the morning. So, um, supposedly going to warm up this week. We'll see. Uh, another four to six weeks before we start warming up. But, you know, spring's on the way. Spring's on the way. I'm um, kind of looking forward to some air conditioning work. For me, AC kind of like once it warms up, boom, it's all air conditioning work for me. It switches right over from the heating. I'm still in heating mode right now. So, yeah, I just wanted to do a little video on, uh, I watched a couple of guys do some videos on uh, flat rate stuff and diagnostic fees and different stuff. Um, I just wanted to, you know, basically explain what I do in my business. Um, you know, how I run my business, uh, just so you guys get a feel for, you know, th what different parts of the country do. Um, I got a small repair business, basically what it is. And I do all my, my repairs, time material. I get a certain rate, flat rate, which is $86 an hour during the week. Um, nights and weekends is time and a half, 125. I don't like going out at night unless it's absolutely... It, you know, unless they're dying, I'll go out maybe. But other than that, if it's not a good customer, I'm not going. I'll wait. They'll wait until the morning. Weekends, I have no problem working weekends. Um, But they're going to pay the time and a half. And if they complain, I say, listen, do you work for straight time on the weekends? They say no. Well, either am I. I'm not going to work for straight time on the weekends. You don't work for it? Why should I? Oh, yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, yeah, all right. We'll pay. Yeah, you'll pay if you want me to go. <laughs> yeah, so um, what I found works for me, if somebody's calling me for repair, you know, either their boiler's leaking water or um, they got a sink that's dripping or a faucet or it could be anything, you know, air conditioner um, that's not working. Um, unless it's a, a big total replacement, I just assume do the stuff time and material. I think it's fair for, for both parties, you know. The reason being, all right, they call me for a drippy uh, water around the boiler. If they want me to go there and give them a price on fixing it, I'm not even going. I got four other calls ahead of them, the people that need work done, that I don't have to go there and fiddle fuck around with these people, you know. If they call me and they want it fixed, I'll go there and I'll fix it. For instance, I go there and the relief valve's blowing, okay? For one, the expansion tank's probably bad. The water feeder probably needs to be replaced, okay? So by the time you change the expansion tank, um, the water feeder, the relief valve, and then purge the air out, you know, you might have a, a circulator that's leaking or a boiler drain. This stuff all adds up. And if I'm going to give them a price, I'm going to have to pad it. Because I don't know if I'm going to run into any problems. Most of the time, I, I'm in and out of there in no time. I just I got all the stuff in the truck. I just found that it's so much easier for me just to do time material. And people are going to jerk me around about that. I don't want to work for them. I don't want to work for them. Um, you know, I got eight hours in a day. I want to get paid for eight hours. I mark my stock up. You know, whatever I'm putting in there, them parts, I'm not going to sell the people the, the parts for what it costs me. I got to make something on it. I got to mark them up. Make some money. You're not going to be in business long if you're just selling the parts for what you make. You know, and other people, uh, parts of the country, they, they, they go write a flat rate book. Well, that's fine, you know. Um, if, if you don't run into any problems, you change your condenser fan motor for a flat rate. Now, they called you for the condenser fan motor was down. Now you change your condenser fan motor. You get the unit up and running. Now it needs uh, two, three pounds of Freon because it's low on Freon and it's got a leak. No, that's a whole nother... Now, what are you going to do? Give him another price on fixing that? And once that gets going, now the coil needs to be cleaned. So, uh, there's a lot of things that can snowball when you're giving prices. That's the reason why I don't like to give a price. If it's a boiler replacement, we're going to take the whole system out and change it? Yeah, I'll give him a price. But I'm changing everything. I'm changing the expansion tank, water feeder, uh, you know, all the piping around the boiler. Electrician's going to come and wire it. I'm going to put new zone controls in if they're bad. Uh, you know, do what we got to do, and it's going to be done. That'll be a price, and I'm going to make good money on it. Um, but, you know, it's either you're going to do installs, or you're going to do service and repair work. Because if you're doing installs, you don't have time to do the, the four or five calls that coming in during the day, or seven calls that you're getting to do the, 
no heat calls. You can't do both. So I found, for, for me, that's what works for me. Uh, I find it's fair for everybody. I don't have a diagnostic fee. Uh, you know, but they just, I've never heard of that diagnostic fee until I was watching the things online. That's more of a, a down south thing, I think. But, you know, I just charge so much an hour, $86 an hour. I'm there for five minutes, it's 86 bucks. Okay? And I'm not driving far. I'm like a half an hour radius. You know, right around my town, a uh, couple of towns around me, I'm not driving far. If they want to pay me um, to drive there and drive back, that's fine. I'll go. But I tell you to tell people if they're far away, call some call someone in your own town. It's going to be cheaper for you. And I'm not driving, you know, on my time. I'm driving on their time. Uh, you know, I call them. I'm on my way. The time starts. And when I'm done with that job, my time will stop. I got it every quarter of an hour. Goes from one hour, hour and a quarter. You know, hour and a half, hour and three quarters, two hours, all the way right down the road. And um, I got a certain rate for the week and certain uh, date for the weekend. So that's how I do my stuff. You know, and I'm, I'm very successful. Um, I've been in business now over 20 years, and I've never once been in the red. I've always made money. Everything I got paid for, I've been paid for for years. And anything I need gets paid for, uh, you know. I got no no loans. I got no overhead. Everything is paid for. Here these flipping idiots calling me want me to remortgage. Remortgage? What do I want to remortgage for? They should come to me for cash. Never mind me going to them. <laughs> Unbelievable. But anyway, guys, uh, I want to thank all my loyal subs and uh, my subscribers. I got over 900 now, which I thought was a pretty good accomplishment. Uh, appreciate you, all you guys, male, ladies, and gentlemen. Both have females and males watching my stuff. Quite a few females. Uh, that was kind of cool. And um, just wish you guys, hopefully you guys have a great weekend. And don't forget, man, take your family out, out to eat this weekend. Um, it's all about the family. And um, it's important, guys. Stay close to your family and keep it safe. All right, have a good one.